Welcome to Inform Your Thinking. Today we're going to talk about how research is a conversation. Let's get started. All of us have to do research for our classes. Comp 2, physics, history, we're doing research all the time. Coming up with topics, finding sources, asking questions and doing experiments, it can be really tough. But you're not alone when you're researching. Scholarly research is the product of many different voices, potentially including your own, coming from many different places. Academic research is a back and forth conversation between many diverse voices, leading to a generation of new ideas. Just like in a conversation, it's easy to get involved and contribute. Here's some quick tips on how you can become a part of your academic conversation going on in your major and areas of interest. When you're in a conversation, it's important to know who you're interacting with. When doing research, you should learn more about the sources you're using and who created them. What do the authors have to say about the topic that you're using and why should you trust them? Try Googling them to see what else they've written and what kind of academic experience they've had. Are they recognized as an expert? And remember that your sources are just parts of a larger conversation that you've stepped into. Take a look at the citations in your sources and you can find many others who are already a part of the ongoing dialogue. Track down their research too. Figure out who else is in the conversation and discover what they have to say. When you join a conversation, it helps to know something about the topic so you don't butt in with something irrelevant or blurt out something awkward. Make sure you do some investigation online and through the library's resources to build a better understanding. You can get a feel for the issues being addressed and the questions being asked about your topic. Then you can jump in with an educated comment and be ready to learn more. Your professors have a lot of experience being a part of the academic conversation. Students may not feel that they have much to contribute to this conversation, but you do. Keep researching and talking to those who are already a part of the conversation. The more information you learn, the better prepared you'll be to enter into an academic dialogue. As a college student, you're surrounded by professors and experts who have already contributed to the academic conversation. You can contribute something too, but remember, not everyone has access to or an equal say in these conversations. Some voices are louder and more privileged than others and make it difficult for others to be heard. What can you do to make sure that these voices, including your own, are recognized and heard? Always remember, there are conversations happening in all different kinds of places blogs, newspapers, academic journals, and conferences. Get all the information to get the big picture. There is never only one point of view in a conversation. There are competing voices and perspectives, and the conversation is ongoing and never ending. Remember, you have a role to play in making discoveries and advancing academic research. Get involved and be a part of the conversation, and that's how you inform your thinking.